Hey, what's up, YouTube? I got a new pickup. I got a new pickup to add to my playoff edition. Sneakers here. You know, you got um, all these Jordans up here. Uh, the LeBrons. I'm kind of, you know, kind of still feeling that embarrassing failure of a fucking series in, in Boston and Cleveland there. Are you, like, kidding me? Oh, my God. Pippins, LeBron James needs to get out of Cleveland because there's no way that that team that Danny Ferry assembled with Antoine Jameson and Shaquille O'Neal, Anthony Parker, I mean, come on. In the regular season, they, they played good, man, you know? They played good, but when the playoffs come, it's time to step it up. Time to step it up, and, and you just got to just bring your game up to the, the next level, the highest possible level, and the Celtics did that. The Cavs didn't. Not even LeBron did. LeBron had a great game three in Boston. Great first half, actually. Because I only think he scored 12 points in the second half. But the great first half he had. And after that, <laughs> fucking nothing. I don't know what happened. If it was his elbow, which I don't think. Because look at what he did in game three. Game four. You know, game five was just an embarrassment in Cleveland. When you take three shots or four shots in the first half, as the leader, he preaches in the press conferences about, I don't have to, uh, to, to shoot the ball that much. I, I can get my teammates involved in the first half because, you know, the crowd is on our side. You know, when we're on the road, you know, the, maybe I, my teammates can't, uh, can't, you know, focus with the crowd, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's the playoffs, man. You can't be doing the same shit you did in the regular season. You're the leader. You take over. You've done it in years past, man. Like, what happened in the Celtics in 08, Pistons in 07, you know? What happened? Damn, Mike Brown has no control over that team. They're all clowns. They clown around. They embarrass themselves. Like, you know, it's, oh, okay, whatever. You're winning. You can fucking have some fun. But nobody, who ever, Jordan, Kobe, they don't dance around, man. You should have a ring by now, man. Two years in a row, you got the best record in the NBA, MVP. You know, 60-plus wins both years. You got to fucking win a championship, man. But get out of Cleveland because, you know, you, you, you have no chance over there. I got a new pickup, YouTube. I'm going to show it to you right now. It's going to complete my, uh, you know, my playoff collection. Every shoe that Jordan won a ring with, I'm going to have now. I have. Shout out to Mike Nadel. Hook me up with these. These are dead stock. These are OGs. These are from 96. The 11. Black and red lows. Okay. It's a cool shoe. Dead stock, baby. And uh, coming in July, I'm going to be going nuts. You guys are going to appreciate it, and you guys are going to love it. I already know what, what's going to be happening there. So stay tuned, man. Check me out in the beginning of July sometime. Jordan wore these Concords in the playoffs one or two games against Orlando. Same thing with the Space Jams when they lost that one year. When Jordan came back from retirement, Orlando beat them. 40s to the Pippins. The Yankees are up 7-6 now against the Red Sox. What happened? They were up 6-0 uh, or 5-0, 6-1. Man, now it's 7-6. It's a good game now. It's close. Uh, I don't have the the uh, Shadow Tens that he wore in the first round of '95 against the Hornets. I don't have the ones that he wore, you know, against the Celtics. But um, that's it. I have every shoe that he wore when he won uh, his six rings. Official now. So uh, yeah, man. Here's the other shoe. You got the tiny ass Nike box here. Look at the size difference. These fucking shoes are just like squished in here. I don't like that. I wore these CTKs last night. You got my LeBron and Kobe All Star on display. You know, my friends come over. They like this shit. They think it's cool. So the All Star game. I mean Christmas Day. I wore the hairs yesterday during the day. Um, I'm putting these away now, but uh, they've been out for a while. Fucking uh, shout outs, Mike Nadel hooking me up with those, thanks a lot. Uh, Zachary, 
Check him out. Um, dude, uh, Musical Mastermind 815. Check him out. He's got some fresh kicks, man. Check him out. It's good stuff. Uh, Kiana, of course. Um, Jay Out, Cut His Diamonds. Uh, Brooklyn Head, Brooklyn Soul. Brooklyn Soul, I know you got those, man. What you think about these? You still look fresher, but, you know, it's a good shoe. I like them. Uh, dude named Brendan. One three two zero zero zero. Call me a faggot. Thank you. Appreciate it. Love you too. Thanks for uh, being jealous and showing it. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Air Fresh One, Cosmic Machine. You know everybody who's who's been you know supporting me from day one. Um, you know I appreciate it, man. Shout out to every single one of my subscribers. Every single one of you guys who we've. The, the positive comments, you know, Silvermore, uh, what's your name, Sean Livermore, I'm sorry, <laughs> my bad, man, <laughs> uh, King Fresh, fucking, who else, who else, who else, I can't think of everybody right now, man, I got these uh, Yankees on my mind right now, God, the Lakers are playing right now, I didn't even check in yet, about to do that, uh, that's about it, man, check me out in the beginning of July, alright, later, guys.